Spark Africa is always looking for new businesses, activities and surprising initiatives. Today we report from Ghana. Here, like everywhere around the equator, it gets dark very early. So lighting is essential. In Africa, over $17 billion is spent yearly on field-based lighting. So the business opportunity for solar lighting manufacturers is very clear. A large part of Africa uses kerosene lamps to work, read and cook. The fuel for this is expensive, dangerous and unhealthy. There is a solution that is reachable and this is solar lights. The Ghanaian company, Toyola Solar Limited, bring the durable lights in people's homes and in the villages that have no electricity. Our most popular product is Beer Food Firefly. It combines affordability with functionality. It actually provides you both lighting and a full charging option. Our customers have nicknamed this the kerosene killer. You simply buy it and you forget buying kerosene. There is the problem that the solar light is an expensive investment for the Ghanaians. The simple lead lamp of Barefoot cost $15, but a mini U day from Philips is already $100. The customer, who spends $10 a month on kerosene, now has to consider a long term investment. In Amsterdam, the Philips offices are aware of this problem. If we can make that switch, uh, it will be good for the people in off grid environments and it will be good for Philips and it will be good for the environment. But $100? Can't they make it any cheaper? We are constantly looking at how we can uh, reduce the, uh, the prices, the cost prices of these products that we're developing. Uh, we develop them with simplicity in mind, but we still have to balance this equation between cost and quality. Toyola Solar gives her customers a hand. People cannot pay upfront for these products. But they can pay if you give them an opportunity to pay instrumentally over time, as they are presently doing. They buy kerosene now, so it is not true they don't have money. I use the lantern to assist me in cooking because I go to work and come home late. With the help of this lantern, I'm able to cook. Even the children within the community, this lantern can help them to read in the night without any problem. Solar lamps are the future. Consider Philips. The solar lights of this company are for sale in five African countries. But within a few months, almost the whole continent have converted. We're not just talking about the lanterns in the home and the reading lights. We're also talking about the outdoor application of light, where we can be thinking about football and sports and community activities and security and road lighting, all the things that we take for granted in the developed world.